So people still talking about that explosive lava bomb that just hurled molten rocks the size of basketballs into sky this morning. And it all came down on a lava ocean tours boat. 23 people were hurt. A good chunk of them had to go to the hospital. Bridget Namata spoke to two of the people on the tour and joins us now with more. Bridget. Yeah. Marissa Dash, the tour started at 4 a.m. And for the two I spoke with, it started out great until they noticed an explosion that sent lava right their way and there was no way to avoid it. A trip to Hawaii wouldn't be complete for Will Bryan and Aaron Walsh without an up close look at lava. Everyone oohed and awed and almost dared the captain, I guess, to get closer. So every pass, you would get a little closer and a little closer. They said the early morning view of lava flowing into the ocean was surreal. Suddenly, I didn't even believe that this was coming towards us. We had been watching it and it was so beautiful, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh my God. Molten lava spewed into the air, hurling a lava bomb the size of a basketball in the Lava Ocean Tours boat. Nowhere to go. You're in a boat that's only so big, and you're just getting pelted. And, there's... and everyone's trying to escape. Yeah, there, there's no safe spot on the boat. You're just getting hammered wherever you're at. A woman suffered a broken femur and was flown to Oahu for treatment. The Coast Guard says 22 others, like Will and Aaron, were sent to nearby hospitals on the Big Island for minor injuries. So we just tried to duck and cover and got most of our legs. Got uh, her shirts were burned through. Um, my jacket's burned through. It took the captain about two hours to get from where they were near the town of Capojo to the dock in Hilo. I was controlling my bleeding, so it was just like a waiting game. So just a lot of worrying, really. And like she was looking at me, and we could tell we were worried about each other, but we couldn't talk. But it's just waiting game. Brian and Walsh are heading back to Portland in a few days. They suffered scrapes and burns but are grateful it wasn't worse. Most people say they went to Hawaii and saw a sunset. We get to go home and say we got attacked by a lava. Multiple agencies are investigating the incident, including DLNR's Division of Conservation and Resources Enforcement, the U.S. Coast Guard, and the Hawaii Police Department.